Okay, so we're just gonna keep it quite traditional today um, and practice our mountain mindfulness. So just come into a position of comfort, position of comfort that the, feels right for the body at this moment in time. So you might have aches and pains, you might be sat in a chair or resting or placing your body in an unfamiliar place, might be some unfamiliar smells around. So take your time just to feel in and feel if anything needs to be supported with an extra cushion or a blanket. And then when you feel as if you've reached that position of comfort as much as you can, if you haven't already, bring your eyes to a close. If you should wish, if not, you can just tap your eyes, which would mean just closing them sort of three quarters and just focusing on a point, preferably with a forward focus two or three feet in front of you. And just revisit just that position of poise and comfort. So there's a balance between respecting what your body feels as comfort in this moment. And also just checking in with yourself. So feel into your feet. We'll go from the bottom up. Just the legs, the hips, the lower and upper torso, the arms, the shoulders, Just feel how the surface behind or underneath them is just offering comfort and it's just saying, lean on me, it's okay. You can lean in to that support around you, should you so wish. And then the neck and the head, just allowing all those physical sensations to rise in the body. Not pushing anything away. So maybe some emotions. arise, or maybe some bodily sensations, just allowing them to flow naturally. And as you begin to settle, and begin to drift, just allow an image to form in your mind's eye. I want to just invite you just to use the image of a mountain range. So it doesn't have to be a mountain range that's 
one that you visited. Could be one that you've seen in a book or in a picture or just one that presents itself to you in your mind's eye. And then just like the zoom on a camera, one of those old fashioned cameras, just bring the lens a bit further out so that one singular mountain comes more into focus. And this mountain could be described as magnificent, but also beautiful. So let it gradually come into greater and greater focus. And it might not come as a visual image straight away. You might hear a change in energy. Or you might smell possibly some of the fragrant flowers if they appear on the mountain. One thing that this mountain is speaking without words is its solidity. So it's absolutely massive, solid. unmoving. How beautiful it appears, whether you're looking at it from far away or whether you're right up close to it. And I invite you now just to look closer into the mountain Perhaps it has snow on the top. Perhaps there are trees adorning one side or all of the front of the mountain down to the base. Or perhaps you can see zigzags of slate and rock in certain parts. And there could be streams or waterfalls cascading downwards or maybe spiraling into the earth. Or maybe you can see ledges. You get the idea. This is your mountain. And don't be afraid of anything that's there. Just invite you, like your thoughts and emotions. Just if you see anything that you're not sure of, just, just breathe. So just bring the focus to the breath or to space on the body or inside the body that you feel comfortable, as comfortable as you can. It could even just be your clothing. 
just seeing the clothing, just gently going up and down with the inhale and the exhale. When your sight, your mind's eye returns to the mountain, whatever you were not happy with, instead of passing it away, it's just, it's moved on. It's like the clouds high above the mountain. Sometimes the wind is gentle and the mountains subjected to very gentle breezes and the clouds stay more static. And other times the wind around the mountain is high and high above the peak, the clouds move rapidly. So sometimes our thoughts reflect the clouds above the mountain. Sometimes our thoughts are full like the clouds. And sometimes we cry like the clouds and the rain comes down. And at other times, there's not a cloud in the sky or the clouds are very soft and gentle like our thoughts. They're continuously ever-changing and evolving. Maybe you can see your body in the mountain as well. Maybe you can see the head is the lofty peak. supported by the rest of the mountain. It's the body, that panoramic view that you have from the top of the body. You also have at the top of the mountain. And you share its stillness. and your shoulders and arms, the side of the mountain, the buttocks and legs, the solid base. And your, your hips, your root, supported by the chair as the mountain is supported by the earth that surrounds it and is also inside it. So there's support both inside the mountain and outside of the mountain. And that solid base, just as your feet, your foot, the bottom of the body roots down into the earth. So the mountain reaches the earth and feels its support in the community of all of the hills and valleys.
and the mountains very centered and grounded. That unmoving presence as we sit here now in mindfulness, just resting, resting and expanding in that unmoving presence. And just have a look at the community of the mountain. So maybe there's melting snow as you come down the mountains. So as you come down the arms, <laughs> snow melting, tension, being given the opportunity to flow down through the upper arms and the elbows, the wrist, the top of the hand, the thumbs and fingers, and all the places in between fingers and thumbs. Just the tension, like the melting snow, dissolving. Just the body feeling heavy, really giving way, unyielding, moving. And as the sun sets on the mountain, it's quite cyclical. The sun goes down, the sun comes up, seasons change on the mountain, and the seasons change throughout your life, throughout all our lives. So in summer, there's no snow, except perhaps the very peak of the mountain, or in crags, just shielded from direct sunlight. And in the autumn, the mountain might wear a coat of brilliant fire colors oranges and yellows and browns. And again, we might wrap up warm in our blankets and our coats. And in winter, there's just not much movement on the outside of the mountain. The same as the body. So the mountain covered, perhaps in snow and ice, but lots of germinating of seeds, lots of rich inner workings, same as the body. So as we sit here in rest, the same inner workings of the digestion and the heart, everything just happening, just completely autonomic. But in any season, the mountain might find itself at times just enshrouded by clouds or fog, pelted by freezing rain. People might come to see the mountain comment on how beautiful it is or how that wasn't a great day to see the mountain. It was too cloudy, too rainy, too foggy or dark. So none of that matters 
to the mountain. The mountain consistently remains of itself. So there's tourists coming and going like our thoughts. The most magnificent beauty unchanged by whether people see it or not. Seen or unseen in sun or cloud, broiling or frigid, day or night, it just sits, becoming itself. At times visited by violent storms, the same as our lives, so we can draw many parallels between ourselves and the mountain. And each mountain completely different. And yet each mountain connected at the same time. And then just beginning to use that, that focus just to start to recede the mountain from the mind's eye and just letting the image just fade behind the clouds, just coming back to the body just very gently coming back into the room, being aware of the position the body's inhabiting. The mountain will be there another day. And you can just feel those points of connection, those actual physical points with the surface that's held you safe during the mindfulness practice. So the back of the head, checking with those shoulders, really feel them, feel the support deep into the back, into the shoulder blades and the mid back, the lower back, those sit bones, completely giving up all their support towards holding them in the back of the thighs, the air or the cushion, the surface at the back of the knees, the thighs, ankles and heels, the whole body in the room, just opening yourself up to the sounds which are happening and finding those points of connection in the sounds, weaving it all together, and just bringing some movement into the body, just maybe flexing the very tips of the fingers, just maybe of the thumbs and the ankles, just bring a contraction into the feet or foot. And then if we haven't already, just bring in some, some light by opening the eyes. You might choose to have a downward gaze or you might choose to Blink the eyes open, or you might do what I do, which is just open them. 
and then taking your own time just to come back and to reorientate yourself back into your day.